what is up everybody welcome back to the channel it is time to get back on the charger guys i was waiting on some parts um finally came in let me show you what we're working with uh by the top of this video you guys already guessed what we're working on but we're waiting on this bad boy right here this is an oil filter adapter boys um if you guys know uh the stock one let me show you the stock one here the stock one i already got it out and that was a mission in itself boys so the stock one obviously sits just like that up on the block. But the problem is where this new uh, Rally Motorsports um, K member, it does not have any room to get an oil filter in there. Not at all, boys. So what we did is, that, well, for one, we had to get this guy out. And I was sitting there wondering how that thing came out. And it's a um, 12 hex, guys, if you guys are wondering. I could not find any information on this thing, but it's a 12 hex. Had to go get a nice little kit because I didn't have anything that fit. 12 hex, picked this guy up. The old uh, Amazon special. I'll see if I can put that link down in the description below. It was pretty cheap too. It was like 60 bucks for that whole thing. It was nice. But 12 hex will do it. Get that thing out. And we got to replace it with the Bushline Performance one. Um, I will try to put down in the description a link to this guy here. If I can find it on their website. Um, this is a guy basically 90s. It gives us that 90 degree so we can put the oil filter on and actually do an oil change on the car when it's on the car. But the other big thing is cooling, right? So we're running an oil cooler. So I had to go to our local fitting store and find something that'll work. And that's the stock style, right? Push lock, stock style. Not push lock, but it's like a flare in pipe but they don't sell that thing after market believe it or not it's a factory thing only so what i ended up doing boys is i went and got these guys here these o-ring style to an dash this is a dash 12 so that'll go in just like this so the dash 12 will take in place now it is kind of bulky but i think it should have enough room in there so we're gonna have to try that we're gonna tighten that up before we put it on the car we'll tighten it up but that'll sit just like that right and then you'll have your dash 12 an push lock and just like that you'll have two lines that'll run just like that parallel to up to the oil cooler so this is our dash 12 push lock line guys we got this from our local um, hose place here in town as well this stuff works really good guys I, I, it once this i'm telling you right now a lot of people don't believe in this push lock stuff but it really does work boys but the trick is you have to get the same style hose if you just put this on a, just a regular an style hose or just something else or even ptfe hose it won't work they'll come right out now if you put it on the actual push lock hose you'll never get that thing out you will rip the hose before that thing comes comes out so that's what we're working with today boys we got a couple 90s a couple 45s we'll see what make what we can make work but another thing i've already mocked this thing in there and i've already ran into an issue with the sway bar you see that line right there so the sway bar is actually hitting so when this thing goes up let me flip it around so when this thing goes up and you go to try to get it get it um onto the block and screwed up screwed on so what's happening it's bottoming out right there where that little lip is uh, i don't know what you're going to call this little aerial thing so it's hitting the sway bar so it doesn't let it touch the block correctly like it doesn't let it sit flush so we're gonna have to do you see i already marked it i'm gonna have to notch that so that way we have the clearance but it's not gonna hurt anything it's really not gonna hurt anything at all it's more like a probably like a shield than anything but so we'll notch it there and then we'll throw it up and we'll see what it looks like but we also got to get those an fittings on there as well so let's go ahead and start cutting Uh, hi boys look at that we got a nice little cut not too bad but uh you guys saw man i was struggling with that makita um and 
I had to switch it up real quick. I had to get the old grinder out because that thing did not have enough torque. I mean, that thing is pretty thick. So you guys see what we had to do. And then and that thing cut it like butter, man. That thing is, should have used that to begin with, right, boys? But let me go ahead and take this stuff off here. I had to cover it up just so we try not get any of that little shavings inside the housing. You know, got to protect the housing. But let me go ahead and slap this on real quick. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like underneath there. I went ahead and did everything real quick. I wouldn't say quick. That's exactly why I did it. It was actually a little more time consuming than I planned. So I didn't really film it because I'm underneath the car. I'm on my back. It's kind of hard to have the camera in place and showing you guys exactly what's going on. But I'm going to go ahead and show you now, now that it's finished and you guys can see what it looks like. And it was not easy, guys. Not easy. Everything's super tight. It was a pain in the butt, long story short. But before I forget, you guys, I see you guys watching. I see you guys watching. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button right now. Cool? All right. Let's get back. Let's go see what's going on. All right, boys. Let's start where the nitty gritty is at, boys. Over here where the actual adapter went. Pain in the butt, you guys. Pain in the butt. You guys can see that's the new adapter there. Now, those are AN fittings. Boys, that was by far a task a challenge whatever you want to call it, it was a pain in the butt because of this k member here and the lack of room and and how big and bulky these fittings are i mean this is a dash 12 so remember that and it i was almost this close from just kind of giving up because i could not get them both in there at the same time but i was able to kind of maneuver them a little bit and it's definitely not ideal it's uh if you guys have a better idea to do this let me know put it down in the comments below but this is what we came up with like i said we got the dash 12 we got the 90 and the 45 coming out and it was not easy boys but this is the one that we were talking about originally that oil filter would sit right here and there's no room to get that filter in there so what it does as you guys can see see i went ahead and threw the oil filter on and that was that part we notched right there you see what i was talking about it was hitting this bar right here this sway bar so it was really not allowing that thing to sit flush against the block so we had to notch it didn't hurt anything but i went ahead and put that filter on but look how easy it is now to actually do an oil change on you guys' car so that way there's no issues with the oil filter i'll put that back on just for now but i definitely got to put some oil in it too but so we went ahead and routed our lines here routed them across here by the frame along here put a nice couple clamps here to hold them in place and then back to our actual oil cooler from csf if you guys did not watch the video on these you guys might want to go back and check it out um, these are some really really sick oil oil coolers boys so we obviously we got the oil cooler for the oil and then one for the power steering i'll show you guys here in a sec but that's what we ended up with that we got our an-12 all in there as well and obviously we got the pressure and return all hooked up ready to go but i went ahead and also made sure we had plenty of clearance right here before i routed these here with that uh, air balance that goes there and it looks like we should be good it looks like they clear and i like the way they came out boys um other than obviously being so tight in that area back here, that's kind of a, a pain in the butt just because the angle on that stuff. Like I said, uh, if I ever did this again, I might try to do something different. I don't know. But either way, it is a challenge, boys. Let me show you what I was talking about with the power steering. Power steering lines is over here. I went ahead and did this uh, earlier. Probably not today. It was, I want to say it was yesterday. But... We went ahead and plumbed that as well, you guys. So we got our oil cooler lines for the power steering, I should say, coming through here. And we put a couple grommets. We got them going through the grommets. Now, I went with the oversized grommet a little bit, guys, because when you have AN fittings on the other side, it's really hard to get through that through a smaller grommet. So a little bit oversized on the grommet, but it's still nice and insulated, protected going through that core support. And then obviously they come down here route through here and then we got one obviously that lands at the rack here and then the other one lands at the reservoir so that way it um cools off that power steering fluid before it goes into our rack but that's what we got going on boys like i said if you guys are interested man check out these oil coolers bro they, they definitely 
come in clutch from a CSF. Um, they are top notch boys they are heavy duty and i really like them because of that because they're going to be right in front of the car and i mean these things are thick boys these are not just your little small little fins or anything like that they can take a punishment as well but that'll look good once we put the air dam up front i don't know if we end up putting a mesh in here or not that's up to paul we'll see what he ends up doing but this is bumper's got to go back also to paint it's got to get all painted up and stuff like that you guys can see this is where those bumper guards were at we removed that in order to get those coolers in there but it is starting to look like a car boys we might be even close to getting that first start here real soon boys i got a few other little things like i want to do the headers but at the same time um i have to drop the tranny and i would really like to get it on the lift but i can't move it right now because i don't have the front set of wheels yet oh you guys remember i was talking to you guys about the wheels for the rear this is what we look we got it figured out boys actually the barrels were flipped on the rear so now they'll actually fit within the actual um inner tub there like it should it definitely was sticking out before but look how look at how big that thing is it's still massive 13 inch wheel but now that actually fits like it's supposed to looking good we just got to get the fronts figured out now but guys i guess that's gonna do it for this video let me know what you guys think if you guys got any any of the ideas for the oil cooler lines or relocating it maybe or something like that hopefully this information helps you guys out and remember boys hit the subscribe button hit the like button and hit the bell for notifications and stay wrenching